Hi girls and welcome back for today's challenge. Okay, so we've got a big workout today. We're going to build it up a level. Okay, congratulations on hitting yesterday's workout. Well done. Hopefully OEP is good. If you do feel a little bit sore guys, it's only natural, so don't worry. Okay, as I said, it's a very smart. I want you to continue to move through today's workout and you'll start to loosen up. Okay, and I'll say over the next four or five days, you're going to feel a lot better. Right? So, first of all, we need a warm up as always. So, when you start off today, on your hands and knees, Again, all we need today is going to be body weight, so no equipment required. Start off with your right hand on your temple, bring your elbow free underneath, so it's touching the opposite elbow, and then lift your elbow away. Nice and slowly, I want you to extend the elbow away from the center of the body, and you can see that my lower back stays flat. So I'm mobilizing the upper portion of my back, my thoracic spine, very important for posture. One more. And then switch to exactly the same on the other side. Elbow knee, reach away. Lower back flat the whole time. Two left. The last one. Okay, release. Now bring your left foot forward. I want you to push your hips through and then move on overhead. Feel that long stretch to the front of your hip fracture. And release, change it over. Again, push my hips forward, and then both arms up. Really excited to get this going, guys. Release, pop up onto your feet, tip over, get a long stretch of your hamstring, keep your back long and straight. And release, okay, facing me, I want you to lift your knee and draw a circle with your knee. Left down and change over to the other side. Okay, so again, we're moving through the hip joint here. The full circle, open the joint right up. One more on your side. Last one. Okay, right arm first, let it roll. Right, get your shoulders loose. And go backwards. And release. Okay, now again, forward with the left side. Nice big circles, loosen everything up. And go back. Just keep that shoulder moving through full range of motion. Two, one. Okay, let the whole body rotate, the knees bent. Perfect. Lean on your weight to the right side and down with a touch. Now stay in here for a second and feel a stretch. Come up to the center, do exactly the same on the other side. Lean down and stay, hold it. Feel that stretch. And relax. Okay, bring in the heel to the bottom. Keep your bottoms. You want to hold on to a chair or a wall, guys, no problem. And release. Change it over. So feel that stretch to the thigh. And release. Okay, now I want you to go through a nice easy jump jack, right? You have two options. Look, on the spot, you jump, leave the floor, or you step to the side. That removes the impact of the jump, you choose. Palms nice and high, knees bent. And release, and finish off full body extension. Reach up, get all those joints moving. Come on, I go up onto my tiptoes, look. So I do my last five on my toes, get my ankle moving. One more, release, super, right hand will reach low. So, today's workout we've got 30 on, 30 off, two rounds, first block. And then we break up into a short 20 on, 20 off sequence. So first of all, we've got my timer set for 30, 30. I want you to give me everything you got, starting with a body weight squat. Three, two, one. So look, feet outside, shoulder width. Top up, so nice and deep, give you good quality squats. Shoulders back, chest up. My knees stays with my waist. And I want you to down so my thigh is parallel to the floor, guys. So you're down deep. 10 seconds. Last three. Release. Super work. So take your 30 seconds of recovery. 
But that exercise is key, right? If you want to change the shape of your body, we need to make sure you get those big muscles in your legs fired up. It's just going to put your heart rate high. And it's going to burn lots and lots of calories, right? Next one's going to be boxing. So if my white feet knees bend, you look. Straight down your bar, draw your tummy and give you lots of rotation. Four, three, two, go. So relax your shoulders, draw your tummy in. Make sure to control the punch. Every time you punch, bring your fist back into your shoulder each time. And you see my waist? It's all come from my waist. So I'll my arms doing the work. And get lots of work through the center of my body. Lots of rotation, lots of core work. Five seconds. Release. Okay, our third exercise. One of my favorite exercises is inch worm. So check it out, look. Feet outside shoulder width. I hinge over so my back straight. I touch the floor. I walk my hands out. I stop. I then push my hips high and walk my hands back in. But I want to try and keep my legs straight. Okay, starting in 8 seconds. This is great for hamstring flexibility and core. 3, 2, go. So look, walk back, hands to those shoulders, pause. See my tummy tight. Back up. Stand up straight in between each one. See at the bottom, look, everything's straight line. Use your whole body, guys. Right, so we did a side lunge in our last workout today. I want to do plyo skaters, so watch, look. I'm going to push off my outside foot and I jump from side to side. Long with your knees bent and hinge slightly forward. My tummy stays tight, my back stays straight. Four, three, two, go. Start off small and so you get used to it. Now guys, this is going to target my legs and my bum. You can see I bring my inside foot back behind. That gives me stability. Once you feel good, you pick the pace up slightly. Okay, 10 seconds. Last three. Release. Great work. Now I can fit my legs. So it's one round complete. So we'll go back to my first exercise, squat. Now right in this one right, you can feel that the intensity is steadily elevated. So guys, you build it up slowly. Feet inside shoulder width. Some inside, remember? Knees over laces. And let's go deep. Four, three, two, go. Top half tall, legs and bum. Chest up, guys. See how low I go? See my knees get over my legs every time. Keep moving, look from the side. Push the bum back. 10 seconds. Release. Love it, love it. Love the body with squat. Start to feel warm now. Boxing second exercise. Now I mentioned in the first round guys that they want to get my waist working. So you're doing this. Draw your belly button in. Relax your shoulders as you reach. And you're going to pick the tempo step this time so slightly quicker. Stay with me. Come on. Feet wide, knees bent. Three, guard up. Two, one, go. Right now you know what you're doing guys. Look. Draw your tongue in. Let's go. Straight down the bar. Belly button in. Hey, 30 days. Let's go. 10 seconds. Three, two, release. We 
we quick prep guys, when you're doing that boxing movement, when you reach out, every time you come back, try to bring your fist back to touch your shoulder each time. That way you know you're guaranteeing rotation from your waist and full range of movement. Okay, inch for next. So remember, feet outside shoulder width, you touch the floor, walk your hands out. Bump down and down with the shoulders. Three, two, go. Look, everything's square. I don't have my hips strap, I don't have my hips too high. Everything stays square. It's only tight. Legs nice and straight. That's it, work hard. Get the upper body working. Give me an extra one, hey, give me one more, let's go. Release, super work. Very good. Get ready for plyo skaters. So again, this is your front loop in motion. We're going to get from the motion from side to side, guys. 10 seconds. Hey, we're going to start off by moving to my right. Remember, push off the outside foot, the inside foot from the back. So the free start, and you'll start off easy. This is called a plyo skater or a speed skater. So big win for Olympics. And when you get it, you pick it up. 15 seconds to go. Can you go bigger? That's it. Look forward the whole time. Don't look down. Do not carry your head. Look forward. Look off your back. Release. Two rounds complete. Short recovery, right? I'm going to change the time frame. 20 seconds of work, 20 seconds of rest. So we're in the sequence number two. Okay, super work, right? We're going to start off with a new movement called the table tap. So check this out, look. I'll show you first. Hands directly below shoulders, feet, hip width. I want to elevate my hips into the air and hold. Like a table, you see my head look this in? Not like this, not like this. Look straight up. Very important, don't let your head fall back. You don't want to get straight in your neck. Look straight up. So we're going to hold this for 20 seconds, guys. Table top. Three, two, one, lift. So this exercise is going to work your whole body. The reason I love it is because it gets my hamstrings and my glutes working. And it also makes my upper body strong. Suck it on the inside. Bring it work. Release. Perfect. 20 seconds of rest. New movement on your feet. So we're going to go on the spot sprint. So I'm looking for low feet, fast feet. Now I'm going to do it side on so you can see, guys, right? I want you facing me. So it's going to be quick feet, all out. Valley. Go. 20 seconds. Go, 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 go. Go, keep your heart up. Pass it, then keep going. Quick feet. 10 seconds. Push it, push it. 7. 10. Woo! So I'm looking to go zero to here with her. Get my heart up high. Now, third exercise, dead ball. Focus on the stomach. We check this out, very important. Change part of the floor. Arms up. The opposite arm to food, look. So my right foot goes out, my left arm goes out. So it's the opposite arm to the leg. And always keep one arm still. One arm always stays still. Draw your stomach in to make your tummy do the work. Relax, right guys, just watch me, right? Relax. Do the extra couple just you can see it. Look. Very important to get this right. It's a key exercise, right? Pump us up. Back in the table top. So remember, round number two. Arms and blue shoulders. Feet hip width. Three, two, left. 20 second hold. Again, you see my chin? It's in this natural position, right? I'm not pulling my head forward. 
All right, let me drop back. Everything's neutral. Squeeze your butt. Boom. Release. Now, some of you may not be able to hear at the moment, guys, but I'm looking you to get your hips up. So I want your hamstrings and your glutes getting stronger. As I said to you previously, it's going to help to strengthen your back. All of these exercises are designed to make you feel better and move better. Ready? Three, two, go! 200 meters. Let's go. 20 second run. Off speed, come on. Okay, it's lightning, lightning. Come on, push yourself. Eight seconds, all from home. Give me six seconds, push it. Release. Dead bug, round two. Whoa, what do you thought? Get the knees flat on now. Lower back flat, to each side, arms up. Let's go. Opposite arm to foot. One arm stays still. Remember, keep your shins parallel to the floor. Nice and strong. Release. Okay, last time, to the top. Right, so let's work out, right? This will be a really good indication as to how strong you're getting because you'll see your body get stronger and you're going to lift your hips higher. Right, so hands to those shoulders. Three, two, hips up. Strong. Yeah, you got this, come on. If you need to take a break, let your hips down and then lift again, right? But I want you to keep working hard. Try and stay up for as long as you can for the 20 seconds. Excellent. Release. Woo! Up on the feet. Awesome, right? Give me 200 meters, 20 seconds sprint. Fast feet, lightning. Alright guys, get the hand wave off here. I want you to push yourself. Three, two, one, go. Let's go. Give me a big 20 seconds. Come on, get that heart rate up. Show me what you got. 10 seconds. Push it. Seven. Release. That's the intensity you need to change your body shape, right? And guys, remember, 30 days. We've got to make a difference in 30 days, right? Building these habits, create change. Lots of the dead bug. Join in with me if you're ready. You're going to earn it. Now go. 20 seconds, dead bug. Suck that belly button in. Keep your back flat. Make your core work. Release. Well done. Okay, take a quick drink if you need to. Dry it off. So we're going to reset the timer for 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. And we'll go back into the first sequence, we'll do three of here, everything one more time. So we're starting off with a body weight squat. Ready? Three, two, one. Feet just right side, shoot a width. Top off to all, finish it off. Legs and bum. A little bit faster if you can. Let's go. That's it, guys. Now we got this. Now, if you wake up tomorrow morning and feel your legs, hey, it's only really natural. You need to be expected. No problem. Just going to loosen up. Four seconds. Release. Okay, you got done. Second movements are boxing. Now, remember what I said after round two of this? Bring your hand back and touch your shoulder. Make sure you get the right knee to move in. 15 seconds, ready to go. Again, your stance is important, so keep a slight bend for your knees, feet outside, shoulder away. Hands up. Choose your lower body, not your upper body. Three, two, go. 
Draw your tummy in and raise. Let's go. Relax the shoulders. Pick it up. A little bit more. 15 seconds to go. Here you go, guys. Come on, keep going, keep going. Last 10 seconds. Three, two, relax. Now, guys, you're ready. Your energy should start in the lift and you start to feel bad. Third exercise, the inch worm. Just one quick one, guys. See where the bottom of this movement look. See here, I knee. My hips are out to my shoulder, so my core is braced, right? I do not want to be getting my hips drop, right? Suck the abs in, make them work. Three, two, one, go. Give me 30 seconds, inch worm. Now, this will improve your mobility. All the daily tasks you do, pick and step off the floor. Getting up and down in our bed, just up and down off the floor. Everything gets easier. Halfway. Ten seconds to go. We got time for one more. Release. Bring it more. Well done. Right final exercise with five spear. Now this is your opportunity to try and rev it up. Finish with your heart rate high, so you're burning calories after you finish your workout, right? So I want you to think nice big jumps, and remember to lock with your knees bent. Okay, 30 seconds, we're out of here, ready? Starting and going my right. Three, two, one, go. Give me your best, give me 30 seconds, come on, let's go. Last set, best set, push it. Top up tall, the whole time, move forward. You can see I use my arms for bombs, loop around my body. Ten seconds to go. Release. Wow. Lethal work. Right guys, let's bring it down and stretch it out. A few hands, everybody go on. So we start off, finish your warm-up, hop straight stretch, loop. Left leg straight. Right leg in there, gently pull in. Right now, I want you to focus on your breathing, right? Nice deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth. Slowly let your body temperature come down and relax. Okay, guys, so that's another workout complete. As you move through the program, you start to feel your energy levels lift. And it's only a lot of time before we start to see our body change shape. Remember guys, we have to be consistent, right? Now I want you to make sure that you post in the group and let me know exactly how you feel after today's workout. Right, and let's keep each other accountable to make sure you get a workout every day. And um, support each other by the group. On your knees, shell stretch. You push your butt back, reach your hands away. The hips come through, reach the crown of your head up. Feel that long stretch to the front of your body. And release on your feet. Okay, hamstrings again just to finish off and open the lower back. Move from the side. Look, feet wide, tip over. So I'm going to put a stretch in the lower back, but also flashing my legs. As I said, guys, if you feel sore, if you feel tender, it's only to be expected, right? So ride your wave, keep moving. Well done today guys, eat well and I'll see you for your next workout.